Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a woodcut from a regular photo. This document is 1350 by 1100 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. I got this texture from cgtextures.com and I'll provide the link in this video's description area so you can download it directly. Open a document of a photo of the person you'd like to make into a woodcut. We need to make a selection around her head in order to cut it out from the background. There are many ways to make selections, so choose the one that's the easiest and most effective for you. To save time, I've already made the selection. To get the head into your woodcut document, press V to call up your move tool, click on the head and drag it up onto the tab of your wood background. While still holding down your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the wood document and release. To resize and reposition it, press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. To reposition it, click inside the transform and move it. To make it smaller, go to a corner, click and drag in. Continue resizing and repositioning it until you're happy and then press enter or return. The next step is to remove all the color from the photo. To do this, press Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. Fit the image onto your screen and then go to Filter and Filter Gallery. The Filter Gallery window will open. Open Sketch, choose Photocopy and I'll choose 15 for the detail and 19 for the darkness. Depending on the size, resolution and characteristics of your photo, you may want to use different numbers. Let's reverse the foreground and background colors. Click on the double curved arrow or press X. Call up your pencil tool and we'll keep the blend mode normal and 100% opacity. To make your brush size larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key respectively. Now paint white over areas to clean it up. Click on the eyeball of the wood background to hide it and open the channels tab. Click on the circular icon on the lower left of the channels panel. This will create a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Open the layers panel, click back on the eyeball of the background to make it visible, and hide the photo. Notice we still have the selection active. Click on the new layer icon to make a new layer. If you want to see your selection as a quick mask, press Q. We need to invert it. So press Q to make it back into a selection and then Control shift i or Command shift i on a Mac. We need to fill the selection with black and since black is our background color, press Control or Command plus delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command plus D. Change the blend mode to soft light. Click on the FX icon and choose bevel and emboss. Make the style inner bevel, the technique smooth, and the depth 300%. Make the direction down and the size 4 pixels. Remember, depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to change these numbers. Let's add some text. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called KG 10,000 Reasons, which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on your document and go to the T icon that has the vertical and horizontal arrows. When you click it, it makes your text either vertical or horizontal. Since we had it originally horizontal, it'll change it to vertical. Type out your text. To move it, call up your Move tool, click on the text and move it. Slide the fill to zero and click on the FX icon. Choose bevel and emboss. The style is inner bevel and the technique chisel hard. The direction is down and the size 90 pixels. Make the highlight opacity 100% and click on the color box for the shadow. Choose a dark brown, click OK and close the layer style window. Have fun making a photo of someone you know into a woodcut carving. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.